and up to this second level. So, just a quick look here. Standing where I am, uh, a couple of years ago, that's what it looked like when we were looking up the stairs. So there was plasterboard all around. And if we look at the same view now, we are taking out that wall with the door in it. So it opens it up right to the back. Plasterboard is all removed so that we can see the timbers and the ceiling as well. And uh, yeah, basically exposed everything that we could. This part place has the most wood. Uh, in this area, we just, yeah, hallway. I've built a cabinet for all the comms equipment. <laughs> so things like, the, yeah, patch panels and stuff for the network and network area storage, phones and all that coming in there. And some cabinets underneath for the heating distributors and just general storage under the eaves. Same thing here on this side. We also have a electricity box so that we can uh, separately do the power up here as we'll do the house in stages. First floor first, then part of the second floor, and uh, yeah, the rest we'll take after we after we move in. Largish bedroom here, but a very low ceiling, about 1.8 meters. <coughs> We've uh, opened up the uh, the wall here. This was originally completely closed off, um, and there was no dormer windows in there, so it just made sense to break through everything and then expose all the wood. Wall heating as usual, and uh, you notice that there's steps in the floor. If we had taken the kind of highest point um, and leveled the floor completely from that point, we would have lost yeah, four, or five, or six centimeters in the height over the whole room. So instead of doing that, trying to win as much height, we kind of built the step there, and then where we could drop the level down six centimeters so that we've won a little bit of height. Because otherwise, uh, well, we kind of just about fit under the beam, but you know, Germans tend to be taller, I think. <laughs> and uh, you could get somebody in here who's two meters tall, they've already got a problem with the ceiling, never mind the beam. And yeah, more exposed uh, timbers that'll get uh, clay plastering. Not so much to do in this room, so that's, that's good. And if we go through then to the next part. And this used to be when the house was actually like a well semi-detached house. It was a double house. There was two stairways, so it was a mirror image of each other. And that was before the 1930s, probably. And then they knocked the two sides together. So this will be an entrance hall, or, or just a hallway as well. Um, and to get up to the next level, over here is stairs, and we're going to take that and move it over here, because in here at the back where we've built up. Uh, uh, kind of a taller uh, gable wall. Uh, there used to be an extension on the back of the house where the bathroom was. We knocked that down, but because they had destroyed parts of the roof to do that, we said, well, it's okay, we can either reinstate the roof or build it up. So we built it up instead to give this gable dormer type effect, which gives us like a three and a half meter high room. And this will be then kind of the master bathroom. But uh, that's something we're not going to start on until after we moved in. So here will become uh, a walk-in shower, uh, the toilet probably in this area, this is where the piping is, sink and urinal perhaps, maybe a bath under the window, but probably not, I don't know. Um, problems here is that the floor is quite high, so we don't have much room for fitting pipes or floor heating and stuff in here. So this will have, um, yeah, probably wall heating, but we've, we have enough wall space. You can still see up to the, the next level, but uh, uh, this will be all closed off with that beam running across, that light coloured wood, that, that's the base plate for a new wall that will extend up, and same here, so it'll be closed off completely. And then probably my favourite room, uh, and just a quick look, this is what it used to look like. It was basically storage and a wall to the left there with a door in it uh, led off to a grain storage area for when it was an operating farm. And basically like the other side, we took all the uh, clay and wood out between the beams so that we could open it up and let light in through the uh, the shed dormer. Uh, this big box is a old flower box. There was uh, the compartments for wheat and rye flour in it and there's still some flour in it. Just being a bit too heavy to shift downstairs. And we opened up then the wall 
between as well so this is basically one room and this will make a really nice bedroom again low ceiling uh, but it just feels a bit higher because it'll be open and this will be plastered with clay in between and painted white and then the, the beams might be either left natural or given a little bit of wax or something just to bring the grain up but probably my favorite room because it's got so much wood in it and that's the second level